Despite their inner cravings for adventure, it's fair to say that INFJs can be considered one of the least spontaneous personality types within the MBTI. Not only does this mean it's difficult for them to absorb the present moment, but it also makes for a seriously difficult time when they're challenged with quick thinking, carefree decision making. Welcome or welcome back, psychos. Before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel as well as to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Number one, they can't help but to plan and organize. It's no surprise that the well-calculated INFJ personality type needs some form of structure in their daily lives. They don't like surprises and they certainly don't like when things don't get as planned. In fact, INFJs can't bring themselves to make so-called carefree decisions because they can't help but to go into complete planning mode when they get a hold of new information. And so, it's admittedly impossible to not organize when they get the chance, making carefree decisions an extremely rare occurrence when it's entirely up to them. In reality, as much as an INFJ tries and actually wants to just live life in the moment, they're always thinking of how it will fit in with the rest of their plans even going as far as scheduling in some time for their version of letting loose, aka finding a local cafe without first googling the menu. Number 2. They can't help but to calculate future outcomes. If an INFJ is forced into making a quick, uncalculated decision that pertains to their lives or even how they spend their time, you can bet it'll ruin their enjoyment. For example, if the INFJ was coaxed into going out after work with friends, without the time for mental and energetic preparation, they'll probably spend the whole time thinking how and when they can escape to do the things they actually planned on doing that night. On the flip side, if INFJs were able to really decide whether or not they wanted to go, what to wear, what to eat, and what time they wanted to be home by, they could actually relax and enjoy the moment rather than finding the nearest exit. This decision-making process is even worse when it comes to more significant life events, such as a breakup. If an INFJ were to follow the immediate instincts of their partner's negative qualities and pull the plug without thinking things through, they'd have a much harder time coping with not only the emotions, but also the ruminating of whether or not it's actually what they wanted. Number three. They get a sense of instability in spontaneous decisions. But what happens when there is no plan in the first place? Well, depending on the situation, when INFJs don't have an idea of what may happen, they can get rather uncomfortable and even irritable at times. Besides the fact that they'll spend the entire time guessing, they'll also be met with an underlying sense of insecurity as they feel like their regular foundations of knowing what to expect aren't there to ease their mind. Since INFJs can get rather anxious, especially in highly stimulating environments, not having the stability of running through potential scenarios can make things even worse. Similar to our previous example of going out with friends on a whim, they wouldn't feel as confident in themselves and their socializing abilities if they didn't have the time to prepare. And so, Spontaneity ends up not being their strongest suit in the slightest. Number four, they want the best for everyone affected. INFJs rarely think of themselves and themselves alone. With the habit of calculated thinking and planning, they never fail to question how their decisions will affect those around them or those involved. This happens most when other people are directly affected, such as in a workplace setting or family relationship. Yet even if it's a personal decision, they'll certainly ruminate over how certain people will feel. Whether they are focused on others' emotions, people's personal success or overall mental well-being, INFJs feel the need to take into account the rippling effect of the actions they take. They'll weigh up their pros and cons with the consideration of others included, and come to a conclusion of the best action forward. Unfortunately, you can't please everyone, and for that reason, INFJs tend to have a lot of guilt should someone they value be upset about their personal decisions. Never mind carefree, INFJs have the opposite problem of being overly caring in their chosen way forward. Number 5. They always fear not making the right decision. 
whether it be what to choose off the lunch menu or deciphering if they should or shouldn't change career paths, no matter how much planning goes into it, INFJs always have that little fear in the back of their minds that maybe it's not the right choice. Yes, being an introverted intuitive, intuition plays a big role in the decisions an INFJ makes. However, the logical side of their brains can't help but to ruminate about the possible results they're missing out on. In fact, this can be a huge source of stress for the INFJ type and can even temporarily debilitate them from making any decision at all. This is where this introspective type can't imagine how freeing it must feel for other types that just go with the flow without feeling like they're standing on the edge of a cliff, uncertain if there's a net to catch them when they jump. So, to put it simply, FOMO makes carefree decisions seriously undesirable for this type. Number 6. They want to please their past, present, and future selves. This sounds a little more complex than it actually is in the eyes of an INFJ. But for the people that live in the moment, it's not something they really think twice about. INFJs not only want to make the best decision in the present, but they also don't want to set themselves up for failure in the future or go against morals they've formed in the past. They want to make their younger selves happy in a metaphorical way, and they obviously want to make sure their decisions will satisfy them for the following weeks, months, and years to come. They strongly believe in the fact that the habits, routines, and beliefs you have today ultimately create the life you will live tomorrow. And so, they are continuously checking in with themselves Wondering, does this path or decision fit within the narrative I'm trying to create? This also plays a huge role in taking their shortcomings in the past and applying that knowledge to the future. Which brings us to Number 5. They attentively learn from past mistakes. Carefree decisions and spontaneity usually doesn't factor in how previous carefree decisions have worked out in the past. It's like the whole point of just letting loose and going with the flow is the excitement of the unknown without the fear that it may not work out as planned. For the INFJ, it's not happening. This analytical type can't help but to use their past lessons as a foundation for which way to go in the future. In fact, it's not only their own mistakes that they take into account, but also other people's mistakes that they have in the past. For example, if they've personally seen someone get seriously injured by water skiing, you can bet they'll rather choose to just watch on the sidelines, never once thinking they're missing out on the fun. Of course, you can get injured in really any sport or physical activity, but until the INFJ has witnessed it themselves, leaving an imprint on their brain, they can be pressured into it. No ifs, ands, or buts. Number 8. They struggle to step outside their comfort zone. Now, if INFJs are faced with a decision that shakes up the comfortable little life they've created for themselves, all the previously mentioned factors that go into the decision-making process often go rampant. When INFJs map out their lives, they may leave some room for adventure, however for the most part they ensure that they'll remain comfortable at all times. They ensure they'll have enough time to recharge their social batteries, a nearby escape should they need it, and that they're surrounded by people they can handle for unknown amounts of time. However, the concept of stepping outside their comfort zones rarely includes these factors that can make the decision-making process seriously challenging. The worst part is that sometimes an INFJ's intuition knows they need to flee the nest of comfortability and explore an unknown endeavor, leaving them feeling torn between following their ego or what they deep down know is best for them. Well, psychos, that's it for today. Let us know in the comments below if you can recall a time where you made a seemingly carefree decision as an INFJ. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.